loads to talk about. But just on yourself, Carl, in, in in that match in particular, you know, you mentioned you just have to get up to the rhythm of it. It, it almost feels that way because you've got so much arena experience now, and you know, let alone all the you know pro series runs you've had, all the Monday night experience of yeah, of some yeah. really short, sharp stuff. So, is it just a case of just a couple of frames, and you almost feel right? Okay. I'm back now. I can sort of do what I want, or is it I, a little bit? Yeah, more? no. I don't think I'll ever feel a hundred percent comfortable because I'm I'm a thinker. I, I I cannot think quick enough, like you know, <laughs> like like a Chris or someone like that. But I can I can handle it. I can play all right. Um, it's just you know, if the balls are there, it's not too bad. But if if I get in a situation where I, I need to think, that's where I I, I struggle. I wouldn't ever say you look like you were struggling, mate. And but maybe that maybe that's part of the uh, part of the ability, hey, to sort of to mask that. I mean, you played some great match play there with with Ian, who I, th I thought Ian played quite well. Certainly didn't get much run, but I mean, you certainly didn't let him in enough to really no. allow him into the match. There was that which big, there, yeah. There, there was that big frame towards the end where I, I had to play a plant on my Reds first shot, great and, shot and, back, I, yeah. I, and I've um, I've missed. I've, I've left it in the jaws. And um, then he missed the black. Yeah. You know, if he if he pots that black, I think it was then eight six, with ten minutes left, and that's, you know, that's game on again. Then, but after he missed that back black, and I, I I took him out, I was thinking like, well, you almost know, felt like match ball. In a yeah, way. because I, I just know that I don't I don't need to go for things. You yeah. know, the pressure's all on him. He has to win four frames just to get a shoot out. Um, I'd have happily took like just a messy frame, just messed like loads of time up. Yeah. yeah. Wanted to ask as well uh, before we bring uh, Simon in for commentary on this match between Scott Gillespie and, and Jack Whelan. Since the last time we saw you, you've been lifting some silverware. <laughs> European yeah. champion, decent field that as well. It must have been a really sweet tournament. How how big was that for you, and uh, how good did it feel? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was, that was big for me, obviously, for the for the sake that it was a, a big title. But um, like personally as well, like with with things going on in my life, like off the table, the, you know that meant that meant a great deal to me. Um, like I, I showed I showed a bit of emotion when I potted the potted the black in um, to win in the decider in the semis, and like I never I never do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, I'm over the moon. And, and, and one thing I will say is, I went home, and I carried on playing. I was like, I'm feeling quite sharp at the minute. I'm yeah, and I, I've I've put some more time in since then where it's easy to rest on your laurels and be lazy which in the past I'd probably have done to be honest yeah well last time you won a European Championship you had an unbelievable <laughs> year and you never know what can, what can happen in, and in 2024 mate and my old mate's not playing this year so <laughs> <laughs> if I can't if I can't win it this year I'll never win it <laughs> all right well Scott Gillespie has gone 1-0 up here against Jack Wheel and tidy finished that from Goobsy who has had a mammoth of a day here at the British Open. He's up against Jack Whelan first time. We're seeing the wonder with us on the arena this weekend. He's coming from the loser's side. I guess it's nice for you, Carl, as we see Jack go straight in off on his first touch of the table in the match, that you get your uh, your last 16 done. It's nice and early, and now you're safely through. You can just yeah. relax and night spend off. some time with us and have the night off, yeah. Chill out, yeah, let everybody else battle it out, and uh, we, we start again tomorrow. Yeah, nice to be the first one done as well, or one of the first ones done. Is, um, Chris Manning's already through. Is it redrawn? No, so it's. Oh, I don't want to know. I don't. You don't want to know. know. No, no, I no, won't no, tell no, you. No, no. I'd love to tell our viewers, but I can't because you're sat here. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I never. I don't. Can you tell me what time I'm on? You'll be. You are the second quarter of the draw, so you'll be second match on. Second, which is. First match is on at ten, so you, okay. theory eleven thirty. Fine, fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> early finish, and you get a, a, a slight lay in tomorrow morning as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Beats nine a.m. Beats the nine. Well, it was yeah. starting at ten, but I know what you mean because you've got to be in here nice and early mm. and be ready for it. So nice, uh, nice start tomorrow. Good opportunity for this for Scott to go back to back here. Do you, uh, how important do you think it is? And you talked about the differences and and the the way that you know getting used to the, the feel out there in the main arena table it was your first game out there this is scott's second game although he's got yeah. this one wrong compared to jack's first mm. um i mean in in that respect you you'd give the advantage to goobsy but you know he he's he's come he's played a game on here 
um, wasn't the prettiest for his own high standards. Sort of struggled, struggled to get the win. Got pinched it in a shootout. Um, but then he's had to go back into the the outside tables yeah. and play on them again. So you know, and a long race. You know, first to ten. So he's probably more used to them again. But but of course, because he having that having that one game on here. Uh, I, I would I would give him the advantage, but he, you know he's he's run out of position a little bit there as well. So I suppose if it was if it was the match before this one, then you could say it's even more of an advantage. But the fact that he's chopped and changed, maybe just yeah. takes away some of that. I mean, he he yeah, he's going to know he's not going to be used to it because he's just come off the outside table. But he's going to know how, how more how it runs than what Jack will. Nice recovery shot. If the black goes bottom right, he, sh he shouldn't have too much trouble, which I believe it does. He just had a quick look. Yeah, clearly a gap, I think. A little bit short. He's okay. Just far enough. I kind of said to myself when you tipped him and that got plastered all over social media I was like well you just you put the curse on him well he came up to me actually when I saw him earlier this weekend he said thanks mate yeah <laughs> thanks yeah, for that I, I was like well Scott can't win yeah but then as things are going it don't seem like he can lose <laughs> yeah wow oh, well, oh then, that, that's a big commentator's curse on yeah. that one but yes I mean 9-2 down and get I mean that doesn't happen very often does it returning mm. you know getting a result from 9-2 did Lewis get through he did yeah he, he did okay and he, he, it was a deciding frame in the next round where he was I think he was 6-2 up or 6-3 oh, he, no. was, he was up and then got pegged back I think to another oh, wow. decider it, I, I can't remember the exact scoreline but it was tight so head would have been in pieces yeah in fact he's already in action in, in his uh, his last 16 match he's taking on Declan Brennan he's currently 5-3 down Declan with the advantage there they're playing on the back arenas A chance for Jack to get going in this match then. Thank you, mate. Interesting time at the moment for Jack Whelan, one of the full-time players that mm. there are. Not everyone's full-time, certainly less than a you know, small percentage that are. And, but the problem is he's splitting loyalties between English Paul and Chinese Paul, yeah. and that can be a challenge. I, oh yeah, I, I did say to people, I wonder how um, Jack would, would cope with it, because I know that when Gareth first done it, he sort of he struggled, so that's why he just committed to the Chinese. Um, I was a little bit surprised to, to see Jack here, to be honest. Yeah, because we're on the eve of a, a big event in yeah. China. Yeah, and I, but I can only assume that he's got like a seeded spot, and he comes in in China like a bit later. Yeah, so, so that gives him the option to play both. Yeah, Jack Whelan, Chris Melling, and Gareth Potts have all got seeded spots, so they can, right. they did have. Obviously, Karras made the decision not to play, but the other two have that made the yeah. decision to play both. But yeah, it's uh, it's just getting the feel for the cue ball, I think, more than anything else. Mm. It takes a little bit of time. And these guys that are just playing game after game after game are just sharp. Yeah, and we've got that exact, exact scenario here. Every match in this round will be like that. You know, Jack lost quite early in the in the winner's side, and he's had to win a ton of matches in the loser's side to get back into this position where Scott's come through. Mind you, Scott hasn't had too much time off the table himself simply because of the length of his last two matches. Yeah. I did watch the the Chris Melling McNamara match whilst you were playing your match and Deej had some really good chances to get the match won he was in front pretty much all the way through the match made a an error with cue ball in hand where he fouled essentially picking up the ball and placing it which cost him a frame well, he, and he touched something yeah right. and then I think he dropped the ball and, oh. and scattered him everywhere and that cost him a frame and then he had a couple of chances to get over the line and the one at 9-8 was guilt-edged. Chris missed his last ball and left Deej the 
the match basically and he didn't make it and then Deej broke dry in the deciding frame and Chris oh, took right. out a very, very smart yeah. finish. Chris's exact words were that he got away with one, which mm. is probably a fair assessment. But he moves on. I was having a chat, well, actually, Scott Yardley said in um, the outside room, he said um, he thinks that challengers should get ranking points. Yeah. Uh, because everybody had the option to qualify. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I think I can, you can get on board with that, couldn't you? I'm not, yeah, I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't really know what to think of it. Um... You but then there's just so there's so much like luck of the draw, you know. You like you could get, you could have got, or I don't know if it did. Like two amateurs play each other. Well, in the opening round, you had 64 professionals against 64. Oh, it was amateurs. half and half. It was exactly half and half. Wow. Although obviously there was a couple of players that, that pulled out once a draw was made. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, but yeah, there was it was half Good and shot. half. Good shot. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you can make the case both ways. It's interesting. I, overall, though, I'm a big fan of the format that's been been picked for this event. Yeah, it's um, something different, isn't it? Yeah, I like variety, and I think this is a nice nice chance to see slightly longer races, which has mm. given us some good twists along the way. Mistake from Jack, looking to be punished here by Scott Gillespie, and he's got them wide open. Doing a red the top left hand corner which looks likely to be his last ball it's got enough room to get nice onto the eight ball in terms of he's going to be fairly straight in on it because of the red yeah I think he's going to play the eight in the bottom left um, he'll, he'll just play for a, he'll just play for a space and just back himself I think yeah anywhere sort of below the break line in the top right hand corner of the table yeah yeah tracking into the big area of the table He's looking at going He's looking flat on flat, the top yeah. cushion, which means he'll go on and off the left-hand side. He could screw out, I suppose, to the same area. Anywhere but straight, really. Oh, no. And he has got straight. Yeah. I didn't like that for, for that reason. I just think... Take you, take your med. I think he's good. well. He's going to take his medicine now, but he's going to have a lot of tougher shot than what he would have done if it had just maybe stunned that ball in and uh, had more of an angle. There he is, yeah, taking his medicine. Good. Challenging eight ball. It just needs to be cued in. Almost an old-fashioned eight ball shootout sort of spot, isn't it? Yeah, and he's just. Missed one similar to this in the last round. Straight in the middle that time. Yeah, with confidence. Nicely done from Scott Gillespie. I thought mentally he was really sharp. Yeah, I agree. Um, something I picked up on is I know that sometimes when I'm struggling in a game, like Scott was in that one, I'll play different shots. I maybe won't play the right shot yeah. because I'm, I'm worried about missing it. So I'll take an easier pot on and go a different route. 
I, I, there was one moment in that game, I, I don't remember the frame, where Scott could have took an easier pot, but he played the same shot as what he'd have played, like, you know, first frame of the match or whatever, or, or if he was playing well. Almost if you put it into terms of what he believes is the right shot. Yes, yeah, yeah absolutely. And that just shows the, the confidence and the belief he has in himself. Yeah, good to see. Good chance here on yellows off that break from Jack. He does get a lot of good layouts. Great break, but not working from just yet. It looks awkward, but it's not too bad if he can get down the table from this one. Good enough. He could even play, lo he'd probably play long here now, actually, um, into the bottom right. And then his work is just about done. Probably knew he couldn't avoid the flick on the red in the previous shot, but he couldn't have landed too much nicer, really. It was just a nice little off angle, just hold the white. Who's good plant now? You'd have left it. I think I'd have got rid of the one in the middle. You know, look, yeah. that one in the middle was gone. Now you can't fail, can you? Um, don't get me wrong; I still expect him to. to uh, it's no problem, but um, yeah, makes yeah. makes perfect sense. Now you say it that yeah, he needs to get above the straight on that one in the centre, yeah. ideally. And I mean, it shouldn't be a problem for him, but he no. could have just got it out of the way and still played the shot he played. Yeah, that's you know, that's still fine. Yeah. Oh, yellow stuck in the pocket. finish from Scott Gillespie 3-1 up in this race to 10 Scott's turn to hit them well but dry really well split here for Jack as well yellow balls in play Jack's had to work very hard to come through the, the losers section lost out to John Rowe in the second round on Friday play a lot of matches today but I spoke to him before this game and he said a bit like we were talking about earlier on he felt sharp because mm. he'd played a lot of matches yeah. he actually was I think 6-2 down in the races to seven as it was in the losers side to Gary Carr and Gary, really wow okay. Gary missed an opportunity to win it I think at seven to right. win at seven two and, and then he run four straight frames to win the match yeah because I, I expect Jack has been, oh, over, I think he's overrun that, but he's still okay. Just plays at the bottom cushion here. Um, I guess because Jack's now predominantly playing the Chinese, he's not really played much of this, and I guess he's kind of played himself into the tournament. Yeah, I think it's one of those situations where he'll, he'll be potential for a shock, I think, early on in tournaments for Jack. I think the yeah. deeper he gets, the stronger he'll get. So 
it's going to be a trade of reverse clearances. Yeah, nicely done from Jack. Both those layouts, you kind of fully expected exactly what happened, but players have still got to put them away. They're as easy as they make him look. And Chris Melling and Christy Colfield, they came out perfectly every time. I wonder if we're starting to see a bit of that now here. As Jack makes a rare mistake with the cue ball. Very rare he goes in off. Yeah. He wasn't quite central then. Is he normally centre? I think he's normally at like a turn like he was there. Right, not okay. absolutely centre. Because he's so good at getting it to go back down them spots, isn't he? Yeah, I think it, it's within a ball. It's not. It's very, yeah, very yeah. close to the centre. I've always, I've always, always thought it's like a turn to the, the right as we look or the left as he looks. Mm. But yeah, he's normally very efficient at being right down that centre channel. But he got the power on. Yeah. This is another beautiful layout. That's that's one thing that I'm trying to work on at the minute because I go in the middle too too often. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've took I've, I'm trying to take some off my break and control it more and just accept that okay I might be dry a few times but at least I'm not going to put the weight in the pocket yeah it's a strange one isn't it with all the success that you've had with with Sean on the on the pairs that both of you probably ride the the center pockets yeah. more <laughs> more yeah. than any of the yeah. other top professionals yeah it's crazy really and hit like i think both of our breaks are just a bit at times just hit and miss even if we're not going in like sometimes but that's that's the that's the thing with our partnership we know that if we're both hitting them good we can both you know either of us can break good yeah so in an in an evening we just need one of us to break good and you know like for this pairs games You'll, you'll never see like the same person break is what I'm trying to say like it'll just be you're based on who's breaking better that night will you judge that on the matches as you're going through or is that more of a case of before the match starts that'll be before the match start to begin with and then that might change during the games there's no like set pattern yeah to it's what, just to how, you, how you're feeling yeah, and, yeah. yeah yeah certainly a big big factor as we always talk about but the last few splits here have been fantastic and this is another one that you fully expect Scott Gillespie to complete another reverse clearance. sure with this one the yeah. yellows guard the, the eight ball I'm not sure I don't think he wanted there he he looks like he's I mean he wanted to play two cushions uh, I don't know if the yeah he's got punch uh, did he make it he's got there yeah, yeah good shot it. yeah he made it work I think he wanted to come back another you know half a half a ball or whatever Completes the finish with the routine eight ball. He was able to survive that scare and he's into the last 16 in the winner's side. Oh, we're dry again. Dry. Oh, the red. No, nope. we are dry. dry again. And another fantastic layout. And another brilliant strike in cue ball. Those last two breaks from Scott, if you'd offered him the, forget about the outcome, if you'd offered him the way he hit them and the way the cue ball went, he'd have yeah, taken it and, yeah. and snapped your hand off. And he wouldn't believe that he's been dry twice. I don't think they're, um, they're not easy. He's gonna, he's, the yellows are definitely better, even though the red's got the pocket. And... 
I'm not sure if it... I mean, that's not an easy skill shot. Because it's not right in the heart of the pocket. So, um... You don't think he could squeeze it through? It looks too tight on our camera. Yeah, I think Jack's now going to play into it. He might, he might do the skill shot or... Oh, no, he's not going to be... But then again... Yeah, he's... He's a bit in trouble now. It's a tough ask to go into it on that line and, and actually have it develop. Unless it sort of goes on and makes the, the red. Yeah. Couldn't have come out I too feel much like worse he for him. He, well, he might play the skill shot. He might play the loss of turn. If he sort of screws back to like the brake line, he might not leave Scott anything. There, yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, knowledge by Scott there. How about side cushion into the red and then push the white up into the one over the hole? Sounds uh, adventurous, but if you pull it off, you could win the frame off it. Doesn't have any great safety options at first glance. He's in trouble, so sometimes when you're in trouble, get creative. Go down swinging. There you, there yeah. you go. We've got, he'll, I mean, he'll take that. Yeah, it's not the worst outcome for him. He's blocked off the yellow. Wasn't the worst effort to make the yeah, shot. That was a bit of a two in one, I guess. I mean, what do you do in Jack's situation now? Yellow at the top is, is tough to deal with. Extension's gone. Just plays oh, it in time. Yeah, that's <laughs> That's worked out well for him. He can't play a loss of turn without risking leaving a yellow on. Mm. It's more likely to leave a yellow on and the well he's just had a look at the combination shot. Not an absolute guarantee. going to try and get the snooker behind this ball now. Uh, a little bit of a touchy one. No, I don't think he's... Has he left this in the middle? Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like he can see this into the middle. Yeah, you can see him in the background grimacing. Good tactical exchange, that. Both players coming up with... Yeah. Good shots. Yeah, that's a good shot from Jack to get that over the hole. Possibly leave the one over the top right till last or... Oh no, deciding to get rid of it now. when it's tracking yeah. towards the centre pocket but played well and a good tactical exchange from both well, it is Jack that wins it mm. unbelievably creative shot there was um, there was no advantage for him to play no. to not no. attempt to try and hit it there you know there's there's some there's somewhere that's that's not the case that, but no there was no advantage to not try and hit it
the only other person I could think that could play that would be Chris. Yeah. I, I couldn't. I couldn't think of anybody else that was capable of doing that. It was quite quite incredible. It really was. And the very next frame, he made probably the fluke of the weekend as well. First shot, and won that Ooh, frame as well. And that's a, in? that's another that's a fluke for Jack Whelan, who finally found his break. That was an excellent break, but very fortunate with the opening shot. Yeah. The only downside to that is um, he's just moved away the ball he was on next. But it um, looks like he's going to take this on. No, nope. shouldn't do anyway. No. That was a tough one. And it was all to do with the first shot going wrong. No. Does Scott attack this red straight away? He could play the plant to the top right, even though that red's not fully over the pocket. He could screw into the side cushion and attack the red, the awkward red. Well, that's what he was trying. Not work for him. This is one. I wonder if it was slightly tight to get past to the potting angle or whether he was just trying to pinch it. Either way, not work for him. But you got to say it's probably no real harm done. Yeah, tough spot for Scott to be in. So now, the, now try and do the skill shot. The skill shot to the left doesn't look too bad. That's the one on the right. If he can get this one on the right now. He's played that well. Good shot. comes down to this one on the left hand side then he's now having a look at it oh no he's going up he's going up the table yeah he might clear these two and then maybe play it or is he oh he went in he's tried to go into it he obviously don't think that's on no and but he's got another opportunity the thinner he caught that previous shot, the better, just too wide. Now he's looking at maybe trying to make the combination. It does look tough to me. The yellow is right on the side of the pocket. <laughs> yeah, it looks easier from the normal view than it does the overhead. Let's see. I don't really see the value of trying to go into it because the margin of error. Has he made it? Yeah, he's made it. Thing is, if he if he if he gets the red, if the red just sits over the pocket and the, and the white's on the back rail, is it the end of the world? No, it's almost like, as he played it actually. If he's left the ye if he's left the yellow in the middle, then um, it's probably not as good. <coughs> but it's still a problem for Jack to solve that isn't going to be too easy for him. If he can drop this, if he can drop this one in, he can play the loss of turn and snooker behind the black. If he does that, though, he's going to leave a pretty simple one cushion. Or is he going to play skill shot from here? 
He could play a two in one. Oh, he went all out. Oh, and it refuses to fall for him. Yeah, he's not happy with that one. Not happy. Opportunity to get level. Looks like it's gone. Oh. It looked like he'd hammered it, but then that's just that's, that has put us. It's gone further than he'd like, but that's pulled up more than I thought it would. He would have liked to have gone another two, three rolls actually. Yeah. Go, go work, go go out by more and have it into the centre. Again, the it looks a lot easier. He is going in the centre. Very good. Good shot. They played 10 frames in the first 20 minutes, so going at two oh, minutes a frame. In. And they ended up doing the whole match, 18 frames in 40 minutes. Quite incredible. Yeah. Straight in with this one for Scott. Last couple of breaks have been going up the middle of the table, not this time. <coughs> not a glorious split, though, this time. And Jack's going to have to play a couple of fiddly ones first in the centre. He's not run far enough there. He played for the opposite centre. But he's got a big pocket. <clears throat> He'd like to leave the red where it is. That was tough from there. Tough to find a way. Tricky layout on yellows though for Scott yeah. as well. It's not. I don't think the yellow passes the eight either. It looks bigger on the overhead than it does on the the actual screen. If he's playing on the one in the centre, he's a long way yeah, short. Yeah, he didn't get there. <coughs> Not to be. catching yeah and that's causes more of a problem for Jack as well we're in for a little bit of a tactical exchange again I actually think Jack's looking to attack here he's going to go straight into him not quite enough and he's on nothing unless he's got the gap to top left I don't even think it goes if he is so I think he's on nothing here sure if he was trying to nestle the cue ball into the reds and get the other red over the centre pocket but yeah. not quite managed I it I think he definitely wanted the red over the centre just so that Scott can't then pot his yellow and use that to disturb his other two yellows um, but I mean what would you rather be here depends on this shot oh it didn't go but that's um Right, yeah, yellows now. Yeah. Clever shot, really, for Scott. Yeah, he left nothing. No matter what happened there, he left nothing. I 
mean, I don't even know what Jack does now. Just plays to the bottom cushion. And he doesn't get there. A double yeah, kiss hurts him. That clever safety shot from Scott Gillespie has earned him an opportunity to go and win this frame, although yellow by the eight ball still slightly tied up, but first time he's had a real opportunity yeah. to do something. He's got to navigate these two in the centre of the table as well. He flick off the side of the red and go into him? No, he's just on the... If he's on the one next to the eight now. So there you go, where he's pointing his cue, he's going to play the one over the bottom left. Try to get towards the red, I'd say, in the vicinity. Both balls available to the top right. Good enough. He's worked all these out well. Obviously still needs to finish it off. But in very good position to do so. He stayed down there. I think he thought he'd missed it, but he's left himself quite a bit of angle here. Yeah, and that's a problem. That really is. I thought he actually might play for it in the centre, mm. just because he I had a bit more margin of error. Yeah. Playing for it in the corner, you've kind of got straight and just off straight. Yes. Where can he get to? He's got. Oh, he's tracking to the pocket. He's held up. Good shot. Yeah, good judgment. He knew he was lining in off there. Just gets far enough to be on the yellow and straight enough just to drop it in. So a bit of daylight between them now. That's the first time someone's been three frames ahead. Yeah, three in front and four from victory for Scott Gillespie. Huge again. He really does have a, a fabulous break, but it's dry again. sure he can quite believe it but it is dry and it's Scott with a chance and it's a very good one yeah these are open red balls in play just a case of picking his route everything goes everything's fairly open as well this is great chance for 7-3 going to leave the one over the centre pocket for the last yeah. ball. Could have gone a number of different ways about this finish. It was such a good layout for him. Oh, Ooh, for a second. <laughs> you could tell with his yeah. body language he <laughs> yeah. thought he'd gone too far.
no heroics there, just drop the ball in, leave the gap. There we go, as expected. 7-3 it is. Three frames away now and four frames of separation. I don't think Scott's break has been brilliant, so I think that that can give him hope. You know, if, if, if Scott was saying that, he'll probably um, leave drop-ins now. But no, there you go. I think that that still gives Jack hope of a comeback. Because even though that Jack's having some inconsistencies with his break, he knows that his break's such a big weapon that he'll yeah. always believe it will turn around. Law um, of averages says if he keeps hitting them like that, he will um, keep making one. You know, if, start if, to make yeah, one. yeah, you know, if, if you're seven three down against a guy that's breaking really well and leaving himself an opportunity nearly every time, you know you're relying on mistakes because he's going to just keep on getting opportunity after opportunity off his own break. But with this, and he's Scott isn't breaking particularly well. I think that that's Jack's hope at trying to. Get, you know, finding finding his way back into this game. Still quite a long time on the match clock. Twenty five minutes, just under. So at the moment, just one frame at a time. He looks. Oh, he looked. He, no, I he's think okay. he's just okay. Yeah, he looked very frustrated with that first shot because that red just hasn't quite popped over the middle. It's really awkward. If you're right behind it, I think you can drop it in, but it's not nice. That's a good shot. Very good shot. So you, you think that the red goes? It, 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 it's not one you'd be too comfortable with. You'd have to absolutely die it in and be right behind it. If that's the case, if the, I, I assume the red goes past the eight as well. So if so, he'll just uh, land on it, and just trickle it in, and just back himself on the on the last red. Oh, Mind yeah. you, that that angle there is not a good one, is it? Yeah, no. I think he's I think he's played. Oh no, he's he's down quick. Oh, okay, oh there a is a gap. better angle, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he said it straight into the jaw. That was tough though, and that first shot, you could see him, he stopped in his tracks as he was walking around. If that red goes, what, not even quarter of a turn more, he'll feel like he should get out. And it just stopped enough to give him a, a headache, which he couldn't solve. Opportunity here for Scott Gillespie to get another frame in front. Yeah, nice shot. The only real, I say, problem, that's not really a problem, is the one on the right-hand side. When do you think about taking that? Do you, do you leave that till last? I quite like leaving yellow over left centre off it, just so that the red can't become a problem for yeah. you. Yeah, I like that. Just trying to make his mind up. Obviously needs an angle just to get himself across to that one on the side cushion at some point. Okay, get that one out of the way. Possibly pull this one back to give himself that three-quarter ball angle on the one to top right, I suppose. Down, I'm going to get rid yeah. of the one over the He's pocket first. Play last. The thing is, he, you know, with these pockets, and they are more generous. And it only becomes a problem getting on the eight ball if you land straight, and he's not yeah. so unlikely and that he lands straight. Even, even straight, you just you just probably run run down and go underneath the red.
Yeah. Control that well. You see that? You see that firm, but cued it in beautifully yeah. though. Looking sharp out there now. Um, mentally as well as physically. Um, I think, yeah, I think you'll just be happy to get through and just have a rest. And um, you kind of just start the tournament again tomorrow, really. Yeah, this match is from the third quarter of the draw, so we won't be playing till lunchtime tomorrow. Get a nice lie-in for whoever wins, of course. Can't give it to Scott Gillespie just yet. Jack winning with a chance to try and get something going. Jack just can't afford to make another mistake, can he? Um. He's quit. He's quit on that one. I think a little bit. Oh, he's come a bit. Take some of the control away. If he's higher up the table, it's an easier shot for him. It's come out okay for him. He's got to play a good one here. Yeah, he's fine. That's a perfect shot. Choice of two, yeah. He might play the one in the corner, actually. Because he looks like he's got a bit of a too much angle on the one in the middle. Changed his mind on the shot. No damage done, though. Break clearance for Jack Whelan. Finally gets himself to four frames. Still trails by four. But um, let's see if the break um, deserts Scott again. Oh, oh, lovely. Straight in. And a good split. Very good split. This is the last thing that Jack Whelan wanted to see. Scott Gillespie's break starting to catch fire. Just going to call for an extra 15 here. Just trying to work out his route and his pattern a little bit undecided he might clear the f well there's either there's two there's two ways to go for me you either clear the four at the top and leave an angle on the one on the cushion but I probably prefer clearing the three then getting on the one on the cushion and playing the middle the middle it, to get to the one to the get, bottom yeah because you can't fail yeah yeah I see what you mean because that gap is there is yeah anywhere if you go one on the left cushion and you leave the cuba where the red is and so on and so forth you're going yeah, to be dropping yeah. dropping dropping and you're away so yeah it makes a lot of sense that's okay a flick, yeah. he would have still been on the red to bottom right if he gets the full ball that snookers him on the one to center but he really wanted to be on this ball to the left center let's see if he uh Goes the way I said. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Well, he's going to be on the cushion as well. He'd rather be in line than worry about being off the cushion because mm. you're only drop, dropping it in. Looks natural enough just to drop this in on and off the cushion for the gap. Yeah, massive gap. There is the gap. He's not failing from here. Yeah. 
they're as easy as your pattern. Yeah, that was a lovely pattern. It took it an extra few seconds at the start just to work it all out. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh no, nice. that's, that was a sum it up. Well, the keyboard is going to stay on the table. But, yeah, this it looked like the perfect break. And for a second, you thought, right here, when it and hits this yellow, that yellow yeah, yeah. you're thinking, uh-oh, that's in off. But Good shot. He still has the one by the eight ball. That's a good opener. Yeah. He's got one more ball to work out. Can he screw off a side cushion into him now? Looks like he can. Oh, I think it goes in the corner. Mm, body language. Yeah, looks okay. Or maybe not. He's playing it now. Oh, he's played that. <laughs> So a little grimace because he, he realised it didn't go in the corner but comes up with a beautiful shot to the centre. That should be the frame, although that was a touch short. A little should bit still short, right. but he's okay. Oh, Ooh, hello. Oh, no. And Bang. That, that being a touch short has hurt him. There'd have been a seriously strong temptation in Jack's mind the way he's not got out there just to turn around and, and sort of concede there and then but he's going to do the right thing and wait but he is not expecting to play another shot in this match what's the rule on that because they say that like you that's like a fine now if you concede but oh surely, really yeah but surely you can concede from there what's what's the what's the harm if you want to give up yeah we saw that earlier on this weekend with Vivek Mack I always think it's the right thing to do, just even if they were unmissable, and they're not unmissable, but he should get them, just to let the opponent, your opponent, yeah, I'd get them done. But <laughs> your mind does some funny things out no, there. No, no, he's obviously disappointed. He knows he's, he's had chances. He's made mistakes. Um, I think he just wants to get out of there now. To be honest, yeah, wasn't the greatest of first shots. I think Scott was just trying to move that yellow. Doesn't really need to. Tracks beautifully behind it. Yeah, nice shot. shot. You have to say, if he does go on and complete victory in this visit, which looks highly likely, having commentated on both this match and the match he played against Carl Morris, which he had to really grind through and deal with a lot of a lot of things out there, including his own mistakes. He certainly stepped up a level from that match. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I see quite a lot, a good chunk of that match. And he's been a lot, lot, lot better in this game. He'd be pleased with his work. He started, maybe both of them had some chances early on. But um, from sort of like, I don't know, definitely the last sort of five frames, he's looked, uh, he's looked really solid. Simple eight ball then for the victory. Fist, little fist pump there, I think, as well. Yeah. Yeah, not quite as big as the one earlier on, on against Carl Morris, no. but it still means a lot to him. Scott Gillespie marches on to the British Open quarter final. Jack Whelan will have to come again at the next event.